The next general election is a long way away, but when the time comes, many people are in for a big surprise. If you live in Stroud Green, you may find you are no longer part of Hornsey and Wood Green, but are instead part of Tottenham. So why are we talking about it right now? Because now you can still do something about it by responding to the Boundary Commission consultation in three simple steps by the 5th of December 2011. Why is this happening? In February this year, Parliament passed a new Act aiming to reduce the total number of MPs and even out the number of voters in each constituency. There are currently 73 constituencies in London. If the proposed changes get approved, that number could shrink to just 68, with real practical consequences for many communities. The number of voters in Haringey is currently within the new quota. However, changes happening elsewhere may result in some communities paying a price. Hi, I'm Lynn Featherstone. I'm the Liberal Democrat MP for Hornsey and Wood Green and at this moment I'm standing in the ward of Stroud Green. And I'm standing here because the Boundary Commission has suggested that this ward, which has been part of Hornsey and Wood Green ever since I have been in town and before, um, it's suggested that it go into Tottenham. Now obviously I love Stroud Green. I've been stomping the streets here forever and I know it like the back of my hand. But even more importantly, it's about the people who live here. This is a community and it's a community that only goes in one direction. It associates itself with Crouch End and with Muswell Hill in terms of shopping, community organisations, school trips, everything that makes a community. And indeed the Boundary Commission said that it was of the utmost importance to keep communities together. So for that reason alone, I'm hoping the Boundary Commission will change its mind. But if that wasn't enough, the, the Edinburgh Main, Main Line Railway actually kind of is a boundary toward uh, Stroud Green. So if, if it went into Tottenham, there is only one circuitous bus route that links the south of Stroud Green with Tottenham. There's no direct links from the north. There's no association by the people who live here. And that brings me to the most important thing, which is the community who actually lives here. It's their MP. We did a survey. They are letting me know in their droves that they do not want Stroud Green to be part of Tottenham because this is their home beat. Everything they do is connected with. And I have lots and lots of quotes from them saying what it means to be a Stroud Greener as part of Hornsey and Wood Green and that they don't really want to go to Tottenham. It's no offence to Tottenham, it's just the way their lives have been working. So I'm hoping, Boundary Commission, that you're listening and you're going to do what you said on the tin, keep communities together. Currently there is a very sensible boundary which is the railway line, it's a big physical boundary um, which is difficult to cross, not many buses or roads cross the railway line, so people tend to remain on one side or the other. Um, and what they're proposing to do is to create an artificial boundary that cuts along residential roads and divides local communities in half. Um, and um, that's one of the key arguments that residents should be making when they um, write to the Boundary Commission to object, um, because that's one of the arguments that they say they were going to listen to. The Boundary Commission has identified local ties as one of the criteria. If you split these people up, what are you doing about local ties? Everybody here, that side of the road, this side of the road, that side of the road, are all tied together with a sense of community because they all go to the same schools, they shop. The Stroud Green residents are much more likely to go to shop in Crouch End and in Muswell Hill, for example, and in Hornsey than they are to go across the railway line into Tottenham. And frankly, there's just a real concern that our issues would become peripheral to Tottenham, uh, whereas right now they are key to the whole kinds of setup. If the proposals go ahead, um, Fern Park Road, the road we're standing on, will be divided in two. Um, Western Park, the road behind us, will be divided in two, as will Nelson, Inderwick and Mountview Road. The north half of Inderwick to my right would remain in Hornsey constituency, but Inderwick to my left will be moved into Tottenham constituency. 
Here we're in the heart of the, what we call, people call the Hornsey Vale area with the shops, the local school, the park, the old people's home as well as the girls' school and that is um, a little community here where people, um, the school catchment area, people know each other's lots of community groups and associations that meet in the local Hornsey Vale community centre and they would literally be split in two with some people in Tottenham and some people in the Hornsey constituency, two different MPs. I think that could lead to a lot of problems with people trying to raise issues, um, not knowing which MP to go to the two MPs falling over each other trying to deal with the same issue. Um, so that's why we're so keen that Shroud Green remains in the Hornsey constituency. And the campaigns and the issues that residents in Shroud Green are concerned about are the question of the future of the Hornsey Town Hall, the question of the medical centre on Park Road, the question of schools and the quality of schools in this particular little Hornsey Bailey area, um, and also the uh, question of Alexandra Palace. These are all issues key to the residents of Stroud Green and key to being part of Hornsey. It just seems such a shame. Uh, hello, I'm Kit. I'm the chair of the Stroud Green Residents Association. I've spoken to many members, residents in this area. Um, I have to say nobody I've spoken to so far is in agreement with any change. They feel that apart from the natural boundary, which is the north-south railway line, which I've mentioned, um, there are lots of other issues. We feel that we are far more aligned to um, Crouch End. We feel we would be in a, in a small minority and maybe our issues would be, would, wouldn't be heard. Hi, my name's Steve Edis. I live just down there and I've lived uh, there since 1993. Uh, I just found out that Stroud Green, this proposal to attach Stroud Green to part of the Tottenham constituency, and I think it's rather bonkers because um, there, there is no historic link between the two. It's very difficult to get to Tottenham. The, the transport links, the public transport links, the um, the cultural connections are much more to do with, from this area, are to do with being between Finsbury Park and Crouch End. Um, there, is, there is no particular link with Tottenham. But um, if our little area becomes subsumed into that larger uh, area, I think our concerns and our issues will be overridden by, by everything that's going on in Tottenham. Thank you very much. And, if, and the other thing that's going you know, to make it even uh, worse for us is that because we are, in essence, smaller in population than the Tottenham Valley, we will lose our voting power to influence everything. And in a democratic society, where votes count, we've lost already before we started. So I, I cannot see the purpose of this, and it really becomes counterproductive. It, it beggars belief that they, they want to change. Why on earth? Hello, um, my name is Mrs. German. Um, I've lived in the area, it's Faber Hall Road, um, for over 40 years and always been very happy here. Um, I really don't understand the reason for changing the boundaries. Um, you know, I really think if, it, if, it, if it's not broke, why fix it? It's always worked well all these years and I think we should um, just leave it the way it is. I'm Betty Morgan, I'm a retired school teacher. I've lived in this area for 43 years and I'm appalled at the thought that we might be uh, united with Tottenham in a constituency. Uh, we shop in Crouch End. Uh, we identify with the culture in Crouch End, not in Tottenham. It's bad enough already that our public services are in Wood Green, not in Hornsey, which is more local, and to have them in Tottenham will be even worse. The justification for the Boundary Commission's proposals to add Stroud Green Ward to the Tottenham parliamentary constituency is that it's going to even up populations. Uh, I think that this is actually misguided because it doesn't take into account the expected population growth from Tottenham in the near term. Uh, we, I think we've seen in other uh, shots the uh, amount of building that's been going on in Tottenham. And Stroud Green Ward has for a long time been separated from over there by, by this, this railway line. Down here you can probably hear a train 
going past. Um, half the ward is separated from St Anne's by Finsbury Park. So I think it's madness and I think it should be abolished. If it's not broke, why fix it? 